Vikings 2022 schedule is out. Let's rip out some storylines. Yeah. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lupagus show. I'm One Bar with Lupagus, and the Viking schedule is out. So it is our duty to get you excited for every damn game by whipping on a quick storyline per game. Yeah, it's not more so much a storyline. It's more of a pretty much the guy who talks in movie trailers. The teaser. Welcome back to the movie. So, yes, uh, this may get old very quick or maybe amazing. Oh. Who knows? But we're going to go through every single game on the Minnesota Vikings 2022 schedule. And uh, I got to tell you, you know, the Vikings, they got some big time games this year. Yes, they do. We're going to be uh, dissecting the sched- actual schedule more tomorrow. This is just more to uh, amuse us, really. It really is. And, Probably uh, not amuse you very much, but subscribe to the channel anyways. Damn it. Let's get the 8,000. Hashtag 8,000, baby. Enjoy the Patreon because we are starting a Patreon only fantasy league and be sure to get in. If you want to get on that, you got to join two bucks a month. Do it. Boom. Let's do this. Where are we starting? Probably week one is a good place to start. Week one, Green Bay Packers. Are you ready? I was born ready. Tune in to the Vikings Packers game. Zadarius Smith looks to make an impact against his former team. And make Anthony Barr's hit on Aaron Rodgers look like Child's Play. One of my favorite horror movies ever made. Child's Play? Absolutely. Hey, not great. You're right. Though That is definitely Zedarius Smith. He's going to be pumped for that one. Cannot wait to see him destroy Aaron Rodgers. So, again, awesome. Well done. Let's go to week two. Minnesota Vikings go to Philadelphia and seek revenge for the 20. 20- 17 NFC Championship game. And we'll also find out which round one receiver from 2020 was the better pick, Jalen Rieger or Justin Jefferson, when the Vikings face off against the Philadelphia Eagles. Don't do the do not do the Eagle thing. That's We don't want that. That's gross. Jalen Rieger probably won't even be on the team at that point. But let's go to week three against the Detroit Lions. Lewis Seen shows Vikings fans why the Vikings move back as he leads the Vikings defense to victory and Micro Mike cries in his beer. I don't think Michael, Micro Mike has any tears left. They're all You're gone. Right. He doesn't. He'll be rebuilding this season because I do think the Lions will be better. All right. Week four, Minnesota Vikings travel overseas to take on their hated rival, the New Orleans Saints, in a game that isn't quite soccer just yet, might. Maybe they'll have some spotted dick uh, in London. Are they going to Australia, or are they, where, are they, where are they going? It didn't sound right. I was confused. Very confused. And, it's not, and it's spotted dick. It's spotted dick. Spotted? Have you ever seen King Ralph? my... Ooh. King Ralph is spotted dick. All right, week five, battle of the rookie GMs. Quasi looks to make Ryan Poles look even dumber than when he signed Dakota Dozier. Ha! I don't think that's possible. I don't think that's possible at all. All right, week six. It's time to get some tan lines on our bodies as the Minnesota Vikings travel south to Miami to put the vice on the Dolphins. (laughs) <laughs> wow. Wow. Week seven is a bye. After that, it week is, eight. What? It is a little strange. The Vikings bye isn't right after the New the New, or the New Orleans game in London. doesn't matter if we play the Bears afterwards. That is a bye. But what isn't a bye is the Arizona Cardinals. Greg Joseph looks for redemption from a missed 37-yard field goal last year, and the Vikings look to boot the Cardinals directly in their Dicks in their dicks. I'm not sure that would be approved for the trailer by all audiences, as all those are. All right, week nine, we're kicking off November. Kirk Cousins returns home to Washington to destroy the commanders in what is basically a guaranteed victory for the Minnesota Vikings. That is not his home, his home is Minnesota. Damn it, he's not returning (laughs) home. Week 10. Buffalo Bills, the battle of the cook boys, which running back will make mama prouder. Mama. 
Uh, the way you ended that made me very uncomfortable. Week 11, the Dallas Cowboys return to Minnesota where the Vikings try to exercise the ghost of Cooper Rush, who destroyed them a year ago. Time to exercise that demon. Urgh. Stop saying exercise. <laughs> I don't think you're saying that right. Week 12, Patriots Vikings look to stuff the Patriots turkey shitters with their fists <laughs> on Thanksgiving wow. evening. That didn't make any sense. I'm sorry. No, I liked it. I liked it. Sure. <laughs> we got three home games in a row here. Week 13, the New York Jets come to Minnesota. And the question is, will Mackay Becton and his 48-inch penis end up in oh, the blue geez. medical tent again? <laughs> Week 14, Detroit Lions once again. Mike Hughes is still dog shit. Tune in to the Vikings whooping up on the Lions for a second time this year. Week 15, Indianapolis Colts travel to Minnesota where the Vikings will get a look at the guy they should have took in round three, Jelani Woods. It will be a horrifying experience as Jelani Woods goes ape shit on the Vikings secondary. I would be shocked if Jelani Woods is even active yet at this point of the season. I'm Week 16, you. the Vikings look to send the Giants to 0 and 15 and run amok of this putrid Giants squad. Week 17, the Minnesota Vikings travel back to Lambeau Field to kick off the 2023 year with an ass kicking. This time, no Sean Mannion, only Kirk Cousins. Vikings get the dub in Lambeau. Wow. Week 18. Look for Quasey to end Ryan Poles' career after only one season. Because, damn it, Ryan Poles has proven to be absolutely dog shit. Now, it would have been more like Gong the Angle. The Vikings secondary has to face Dante Pettis, Tajay Sharp, Valus Jones. And whoever the hell they have. Is it I don't know. Phallus? Bailey's. All right. that Bailey's. There you have it. I mean, if you're not pumped up to watch every single one of those games, you have no pulse in your body. Yeah, especially that, uh, I don't know, what was the one about turkey and the stuffing the turkey and the, the turkey shitters. <laughs> That's what it was. Be back All right, tomorrow. that is it. We're going to really break down this schedule tomorrow. We'll break it down. We'll predict every week. We each have a, a, a prediction of Vikings record, how this thing's going to go, uh, and really look at this thing from a more, um, I don't know, sober perspective, maybe. I'm sober. I'm just an me idiot. Too. <laughs> I know. Me too. All right. Remember this, guys. Uh, your jaw bone is the hardest bone in your body.